My name is Dr. Ingrid Garrison and I'm the Environmental Health Officer and State Public Health Veterinarian for the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. It's really two jobs that I do. Uh, one, as the Environmental Health Officer, I'm responsible for bridging two different divisions within the department itself. One is the Division of Environment, which is primarily regulatory. They do things such as um, licensing different industries and, and regulating air emissions and water and the Division of Health which is responsible for the ma majority of public health issues that we think about such as disease surveillance, uh, maternal and child health, uh, health promotion activities, cancer prevention and things like that. Veterinarians play a very important role in public health and I often get many, many people curious as to why a veterinarian is in human public health. And in fact, most of them don't even know I'm a veterinarian until they ask what kind of a doctor I am, and I say I'm a veterinarian. In public health, I work with a variety of people from different backgrounds on a daily basis. These people within the health agency themselves include food sanitarians, uh, people who go out and actually perform inspections, hazardous waste people, water folks, air and radiation regulatory people. Disease surveillance is a vital part of public health. In order to determine if there is a problem going on, you have to know what the baseline of anything is. Is, is, is five cases of salmonella in one county a problem? We wouldn't know unless we surveil disease on a regular basis, or perform surveillance of disease on a regular basis. This includes different types of diseases that are reportable to the state and we, we monitor those in our office and then we're able to tell patterns that might be seasonal patterns, temporal patterns, um, we may see a certain disease in different populations on a more frequent basis than others but really the key to disease detection is really surveillance because without that baseline data you really won't ever know if you have a problem. Often when public health authorities are first notified of a disease of concern or a cluster of unusual cases of concern, there's very little known about the exact cause. They know that perhaps maybe five people are come down with similar symptoms in a very close period of time and although they may not have a diagnosis of exactly what that is, there is concern because it seems to be one, rapidly affecting people, and two, there seems to be more and more people coming down with this. And although we may not know what the exact organism is, we can use epidemiology and surveillance to determine if there is a problem, and two, to sort of start our investigation early. Even if you don't know what the organism is or what the cause of the problem is, you can use scientific reasoning and deduction to determine what might likely be the cause. And there's definitely a methodology that epidemiologists follow to when they start their investigations. And the, and the first step is always to confirm the diagnosis.